Hello, I'm Tony Ferrara, Mayor of the City of Arroyo Grande. Welcome to our program. For the next few minutes, you're going to hear about an exciting new program here in our city called Arroyo Grande in Bloom. We wanted to localize a beautification program, but most of all, our main goal was to instill and nurture the spark of volunteerism and also community pride. It all started with a friend of ours, Karen Frank, came to us. She's with the CCGGA, Central Coast Greenhouse Growers Association. And she said there was going to be a presentation by one of the judges of an organization called America in Bloom, and would we attend? And I said, the city, myself, will be there, because we are interested in that concept. The concept is America in Bloom is based on a nationwide competition of cities of the same size. So we attended this this meeting, this presentation by one of the judges, and came away with a lot of enthusiasm and a desire to improve our city. I think what got me really personally excited about volunteering uh, my off time to this was that these projects are really simple and it only takes one or two passionate people to really make a big difference. I go out with the tidiness crew and we just start to pick up litter. And um, as you drive down the streets, you think, Boy, it really does look a lot cleaner here in Arroyo Grande. Uh, as I drive way. through the community and I see what we've done, the trash we've picked up, the flowers that we've planted, the brush that we've cleared, this is stuff the Parks Department can't possibly keep up with. They're, they have budget constraints. This is also something we can take pride in. And I know it's not just me. I know other people who've come out and volunteered. They really start to feel an ownership to their city. This is everyone's city. It's their public areas. And you really start to feel good when you see your flowers that you planted really make other people's days. What we're after is the beautification and the cleanliness of the city of Arroyo Grande. And we've had a lot of fun doing it. Jim is in charge of tidiness. Hi. Lately, I've been spending a lot of my volunteer time with Arroyo Grande and Bloom with the tidiness team. And what we do is uh, we show up about once a week on a Saturday morning, about 8 in the morning, and we start uh, picking up some litter, and we also clean uh, uh, weeds out of the sidewalk. And uh, although this seems like maybe one of the dirtier jobs with Arroyo Grande and Bloom, it's actually uh, quite relaxing. Uh, you get out, you pick up some litter for an hour and a half, and you start your weekend off feeling good that you've done something for your community and made it look a little bit better. This shopping cart looks like someone's art project. It's been sitting out here for about two or three weeks, so our crew today is going to pick this up, get rid of it, clean up this whole lot, and uh, it'll, it'll be ready for a few more months. We provide vests, we provide pickup tools, we provide uh, gloves to keep your hands clean, uh, trash bags. Uh, we give a little bit of a safety instruction when you're out here on the street. One of the perks of uh, working with the tidiness crew is anything you find is yours to keep. <laughs> One of the things that you've heard a lot about lately is the carbon footprint. Now this is something that each of us individually is responsible for or definitely should be responsible for. If you are responsible and you take care of your carbon footprint, you're going to make this a better place to live. Our environment is going to be much healthier. You're going to reduce gas emissions. You're going to have a cleaner environment to live in. You're going to have a better future for your children and your grandchildren. Right here in this creek, one of our most cherished possessions in Rio Grande, is a footprint that's evidence that people are not being responsible. We have trash, cans, bottles. Please volunteer to help us to clean up these messes. Yes. One of the many values of, in the city of Rio Grande is our creek. And not only does it flow through the whole city limits, but um, it's a main water source that is derived up from Lopez Lake. Upstream contains a lot of wildlife habitat. Um, just recently just completed a project with the Central Coast Salmon Enhancement and um, various um, fish and wildlife organizations and the California Conservation Corps and had a project to uh, eliminate some of the invasive species that are in the creek itself. Uh, this was a creek ivy Algerian ivy that was removed and also to plant it with uh, native species to revegetate it to its natural state. The Arroyo 
Grande and Bloom program stresses maintaining your cemeteries, your cultural history, your iconic buildings. The community recognized long time ago that the village and the heritage that it represents is an economic dividend for the business community. Other communities have a beach, we have heritage. This is one of our museums. It happens to be our youngest building. It was built in 1904 by the Independent Order of Odd Fellows. We had this building in a nine-year retrofit program. The city of Arroyo Grande was very aggressive about getting all of their old buildings retrofitted for earthquake safety. And the public had not been inside this building since 1985. It's very, very, very important that our community come out and support this Arroyo Grande and Bloom project. It enriches everybody's life. It tells us who we are, where we came from, and where we're going. Hi, my name's Kristen Barnich, and I am the chair of the Tree Guild of Arroyo Grande. And I got involved in American Bloom because they have a lot of the same goals as far as the urban forestry part goes that the Tree Guild does. And we were very excited to work with another group and help plant trees in Arroyo Grande on a continual basis. Instead of planting trees maybe once a year, we're trying to do it every couple of months and uh, the projects take place on a Saturday and we usually get the whole job done and you can drive by the next day and see the trees in the ground. So that's uh, very rewarding. I have seen different people from different, ha that have different goals in Arroyo Grande all come together and work together. So if someone is interested in urban forestry but someone's interested in flowers or heritage or tidiness, we've all come together and worked together on projects and so I think it's a real synergy to have all these people in the community get together and work together for one common goal. It's made Arroyo Grande a much nicer place already just in the short time by the planting of the trees, the flowers, and the picking up of the trash. Hi, I'm Ron Kindig. I'm one of the volunteers with the Landscape Committee of Arroyo Grande in Bloom. The Landscape Committee helps people with ideas for landscapes, particularly homes and apartments, that will make our city look its very best. We hope that by emphasizing these wonderful landscapes we have on our city, that other people would take a look at their landscapes and enter our Landscapes of Distinction contest. Each of these five landscapes of distinction had a sign posted in their front yard. They received a certificate and they had their address posted in the paper so that other people could come by and see their achievement. We hope that you can help out by participating in one of our projects in the city that has to do with improving landscapes. Volunteering with Royal Grande and Bloom, it's, it's really a blast. It's just a kick to get people planting flowers. It's, to, it's fun to get them outdoors and involved in the community. Some of the projects we're involved in are you know, projects that people drive by every day. They're uh, planters, uh, pots in the, in the village, um, baskets, uh, just anywhere that you see flowers uh, throughout the community, um, it's going to be a part of the Arroyo Grande and Bloom umbrella. We want to get all the uh, factions of our community involved in Arroyo Grande and Bloom. We, we look to the churches to provide us with people that want to um, plant flowers that want to plant trees. So we look to uh, the, the schools to get the kids involved because we know that you know if we don't start with the kids, um, there there won't be any future for Rio Grande and Bloom. So we, we want to get into the schools and teach them about horticulture, teach them about flowers and planting, and get them involved because we love this place. <laughs> On behalf of the city of Arroyo Grande and Arroyo Grande and Bloom, we want to thank you for watching this program. We look forward to hearing from you in the near future. And remember, it's all about pride.